Hello and welcome back. Good to see you again. Total OS Today, total technology for beginners and beyond. Well, I think a new beginning for me, first of all, I think I may have found the secret between, you know, Linux versus Windows, I think. If something breaks, for example, if something breaks in Windows like a piece of software, delete software, find better software. If something breaks in Linux, delete operating system, find better operating system. That's what I had to do. I, I was using Linux Mint 17.1 for a while. Was and still is a terrific operating system. Still one of the best in the world, in my opinion. But since the beginning, since installing the applications that I need to do all this fun stuff, the system never ran correctly. It started with KDN Live, and it just got progressively worse. Two weeks ago, I was unable to attend the Sunday Night News and Nonsense Report live podcast, Sunday nights. 8 p.m. courtesy of the Cup of Linux channel. My system just went bonkers. It just froze. I gave up. I deleted Linux Mint. Didn't really want to, but I had to and went to Ubuntu Mate. This is awesome. Uh, those of you who have been using Ubuntu for a while, this the Mate version of the Ubuntu desktop is really the pre-Unity days, the old GNOME 2 desktop environment and if there is such a thing as a classic standard Linux desktop I don't know maybe this is it it's maybe this is it it's it certainly works good enough for me this is a beta 2 not quite the final release so this still may have bugs in it uh, in fact there's a bug in this uh, I think it's a bug uh, in fact it's really annoying it's a constant problem for me and of all of things not to work um, I'll mention that later I'll mention that later, but for now, let's go ahead and take a look at this terrific desktop. This is the default look of the desktop as you see here. When it comes to Linux, I love stability, speed, and special looks. You need stability. Without stability, everything else is a zero. Of course, with stability, that's probably true in any operating system. If you have stability, speed is a bonus. And special looks, of course, customization, that's usually not an issue with Linux. All right, very brief, this is a two panel layout here. You don't need the bottom panel. You can right click and delete it. I chose to leave it. You've seen this before. I won't go into everything. Power on and off, of course, time and date, uh, network, the sound menu here or the sound icon. This doesn't have the sound menu or the, or the media player integration. Uh, I don't know if it's something I did or a bug or it's not quite the finished product. I kind of miss not having that. So what I did, I downloaded and installed uh, Banshee. This gives me the media player integration in the top panel. By the way, this is probably, I think, the best media player for Linux in general. Uh, you can search, for example, the Internet Archive for podcasts, and you can search Toss Today or Total OS Today for some free podcasts, audio podcasts of the news and nonsense and some of my previous uh, discussions with Infinitely Galactic. So check it out. You can use it. You can do it using Banshee. All right, the weather app, which I installed. Now these applets, you can right click. This is terrific, by the way. This is what I missed in Unity. Very simple, very easy to use. Again, these are just little pieces of software that you can install. You can install the top or bottom panel. The bottom panel, again, you don't need it. You can right click and delete. I left the workspace switcher. And I added the um, yeah, I added the trash icon. You can right click, remove, open, trash, empty. I'll just click empty. And some sound effects here. Default sound effects, which you can mute out if you so choose to. All right, moving along to the left. These are just little shortcuts I added to the top panel. Now the way to do this, let's go to, let's say, System Tools. Let's say I wanted to add the System Monitor. Just drag it there, and there you go. And you can move this, right click and move, like this. I'll leave it in the middle for now. Speaking of the System Monitor, let's take a quick look. All right, 1.6 gigs, I suppose not too bad. I have Compass uh, enabled by default. Uh, I installed the ATI graphics drivers and I'm running the screen recorder. So this is probably about right in terms of memory usage. I can tell you this runs pretty fast. All right, the traditional classic applications, places, and system shortcuts, starting with system preferences, hardware. 
I can install the special video drivers as I call them. No problem running it in Ubuntu Mate. Internet and network, look and feel other personal. I would like to go to look and feel real quick and look at the Mate tweak tool. This is pretty cool. Desktop interface, Windows. Let's go quickly to interface. You can make this look with the click of a mouse button any way that you want to. For example, I have this looking like Ubuntu Mate. Um, we can have this looking like OpenSUSE. As you can see, we have just the panel at the bottom, computer. And this gives you a different look. Let's go back here. Let's stick with, yeah, let's stick with Ubuntu Mate. All right, that's a default look there. Go to Windows, you can have the traditional Marco simple desktop effects for less RAM usage, or if you don't have a fast enough machine or graphics, I will leave it with Compiz for the extra special effects, as it were. And I do like my buttons to the right since I am right handed. All right, so we took a look at system here. Of course, the control panel, I guess this would be something similar to the, uh, or control center rather, something similar to the control panel in Windows. This also works, this deals with Compiz rather. Okay, about Mate, the desktop environment, lock screen, log out and shut down. Go to places. If you've been running Linux, you've probably seen this before. I won't go into everything. Icon view, list view and compact view again if you're coming from windows very very easy to use the course the standard shortcut on the desktop your home folder let's go to applications accessories let's see if anything catches my eye real quick all right nothing there libreoffice math of course libreoffice suite installed by default one thing that is not installed by default in graphics is gimp that should be a standard feature or a standard application in my opinion internet I installed the Google Chrome and Opera Pale Moon browser. I really don't have a favorite web browser right now. I just don't. So I just downloaded those, installed those. No problem, by the way. Office, the LibreOffice suite. I did install Abbey Word. This, is, this appears to be, or it is rather, a little bit lighter weight, faster word processor piece of software. Very easy to use. All right, we looked at Office. Let's go to Sound and Video. I installed, downloaded, installed Amarok. I tested this with Amarok, Banshee, Clementine, this GMTP. I thought this would solve the issue I was having. I'll mention that last. Let's see, Kazam, the screen recorder. Caden Live works terrific in this, by the way. I installed OBS, this OBS screen recorder. This is something new for Linux. I'll be running tests on this and some other stuff here. All right, System Tools. I installed Bleach Bit to help clean up the system. Universal access, onboard, screen magnifier, and screen reader. So, and I just realized one thing, the shortcuts I had here at the top left, I guess I'll have to put them back again. Okay, I'm not sure if that's a bug, but that's no big deal. As I stated, this runs and feels terrific. This is my new favorite Linux distro, at least for now, until or unless something breaks. As I stated, I had Linux Mint, it just gave me freaking headaches and it was kind of disappointing. The core system was great after I installed it. I installed the stuff I needed to install. It went bananas, so I gave up on that. I give this a B plus. I'd give it an A, but I can't, and I'll tell you why. For the life of me, why do I keep having issues syncing my Galaxy phone? I have a Linux product that doesn't sync to a Linux product. Now, could this be because this is still a beta? It's not a final product? I don't know, but I was having issues with this Linux Mint. Don't know what it is. Tried fixing it, downloading pieces of software from the Synaptic uh, Package Manager. Thought I had it corrected. It's not. I gave up, so I'm done with that. If you guys have any clues, if I'm missing something, a dependency or something, let me know. I'm willing to try anything. So. With that in mind, as I stated, I'd give this an A, but I can't, at least not yet. But a very, very solid B+. Definitely check out Ubuntu Mate. Ubuntu Mate, it's spelled Mate, but it's Mate. My favorite Linux distribution for now is a Windows dual booter. Windows Linux dual booter. 
All right, finally, if you haven't already, you can still vote. Will you buy an Apple iWatch? Um, <laughs> you know what? This poll ends April 15th, but I think it's pretty much over. 96% uh, say no. There's still time to vote and change the outcome of this, but it's not looking so good for Apple iWatch, at least from the people who follow me. So there you go. You can still vote for that. Uh, you can vote for the latest, uh, vote for rather your favorite April YouTube channel for this month of April, of course. You can just uh, vote by putting comments below and saying who you would like to think deserves more attention, more exposure, as it were. Maybe somebody new. It doesn't have to be someone new. Graham Linux mentions uh, Linux for today. That's fine with me. And Go67 mentions. Uh, a couple, a married couple from New Jersey or New Jersey who do games. That's fine with me too. So go ahead and post your comments for that below. I'll have all links below for this in the show notes. So those are the two polls that are available right now. And finally, I don't have a date yet for the next live event, the UK show meaning I will do a live event uh, at a more friendlier time for my uh, non-USA friends. Uh, I don't have a date yet. I'm looking for um, support for the future podcast, some sponsors. You can sponsor this channel for as little as a dollar a month. I'll have all the links below in the show notes. If you want to donate, that's cool. Um, but I need some help in keeping this channel running and do all, doing all the things I want to do. And I'm not a, I really don't want to sign into a multi-channel network. i just rather let you guys dictate on how to run this channel. All right, I'm done. Let me know what you think of Ubuntu Mate. I think it's terrific. Uh, that's it for this one. Thank you as usual. Thank you so much for watching and, and listening. Ah, I'm done. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.